Hello and welcome. I'm Sharon from Penguin Palace. Thanks for joining me. Today's video features the Plaid Floral Fun Stencil 360. This set comes with two stencils, one 6 inches in diameter and the other is 4 inches. First, I use the A2 size paper guide to center my 4 and quarter by 5 and a half cardstock. Then I replace it with a 6 inch guide ring. As you can see, this stencil has a star as the alignment marker, which means I can try different turning intervals to achieve different looks. In this example, I'll be rotating my stencil at 120 degrees. Now don't panic, that simply means that I'm going to be jumping 4 circles in each turn. My first color is Salvage Patina Distress Oxide Ink. With a big angle of rotation like this one, I only need to rotate my stencil twice to complete one full turn. Now I'm ready for my second color blueprint sketch. I'll be starting on the second solid circle and just repeating what I've done with my first color, jumping four circles in each turn. Now I'm already done with my six inch stencil. To give it more details in the center, I will overlay the 4 inch stencil on top. Let's see what that gives us. It's always fun to try and go for different looks with these stencils. It can be very refreshing every time you use these since you have the option of creating new patterns and not just ending up with the same design over and over again. Here you can see that at first I only taped down my guide ring and was spinning the 4 inch stencil itself. But I wanted to show you another way where you could tape the stencil together with the guide ring and spin them together. Sometimes it is easier this way with the small 4 inch stencils, since you won't need to apply pressure on the stencil to stabilize it as you ink. I apologize that I'm zoomed in here and you're not able to see where the arrow on the guide ring is pointing to. I'm actually using a 22.5 degree turning interval, jumping from heart to heart and I'm alternating between distressed oxide squeezed lemonade while stopping at all the solid hearts and twisted citron on the, all the outlined hearts. As you can imagine, if you use this 4 inch stencil by itself, you can still get beautiful results. I really love the overlays you can achieve with just a few turns and the unique patterns that you can achieve from these stencils. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison between two backgrounds, one with the 4 inch stencil pattern and one without. I'm going to make two very different styles of cards using these two backgrounds. For my first card, I applied some white pigment ink in the center to give it some highlights so that when I stamp my sentiment over it, it's going to stand out more. I stamped an image from Heartfelt Note stamp set with Versafine Onyx Black ink and then clear heat embossing it. my second card, I copy colored and die cut some images from Welcome Little One and it has a cuter and more adorable feel to it. This stencil set is very versatile. You can turn these backgrounds into very different styles of cards as I did here. The one on the left is more elegant while the one on the right is more fun and whimsical. As you can see, my A2 panel has a subtle raised panel border. I added four gems on the corners which I think accentuates the raised border and create more of a focal point to the center. I also added some heart-shaped clear gems to complete my other card. I hope you enjoyed today's inspirations and don't forget to show us your cards by posting them onto Instagram using hashtag Penguin Palace Projects or simply share it onto our Facebook fan page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.